Welcome to Primecast, episode 10... Wait, what did I say it was? It's 106. 106. My name is Jesse. Starting off professional, my name is Wyatt. Professionals. <laughs> Nothing but professionalism here. What yep. show are we doing again? Primecast? Uh, I don't know who you I thought, are. I thought, we're, I thought we were doing something else. I don't know I don't who you know. are. I'm not I'm not sure if I'm into this anymore. I thought, I thought I was doing a Primecast about video games. Um, so what's nope. this, what's the show about? Um, Trans Transformers. Shit. All right, I guess we'll go with it. So what's going on? Did you hear that thunder? Is that what that was? Yeah. It sounded like someone taking a big metal sheet and just hit it with a hammer. That's what thunder sounds like. Yeah, it does. But that's what <laughs> that's what that literally sounded like. I heard like. Huh. And it's only because you're not too far away from me, and it's sunny, sunny as hell out here. Really? Fuck you. Yeah. Well, I like thunderstorms, so fuck you. Well, trade. Trade. All right. Um. Nothing. I, I'm fighting with a website right now. Would that website be Toy Arc? No. Why would they do? Oh. I don't know. I just always have a lot of trouble loading shit for them. Oh no, I like Toy Arc. No, there's like actual legal problems with the website. Legal problems with a website? Yeah. Oh, like kind of. Explain. Well, because I'm still trying to figure it out, I can't really go into too much uh, details. But um, I bought a print from a guy for a new Spider-Man suit. Uh, sent it to another site to have the have it made. In which there was no contract or no terms of use I had to agree to in making it. But the day I received it in the mail, they put the file on their site for mass production for anybody to buy. Uh huh. Which is not not cool. Because one, the print isn't mine, so they they I I'm responsible because they got it from me when that they didn't say anything about that and. I have to figure out a way bef with before I want to get the the guy involved who I bought the print from. Oh. And yeah, and also like I had a lot of really crazy modifications done stuff to a to a morph suit or a Zentai suit you don't normally have done. I had done to it, and now those are just you know average customary options. So I don't really care because. These are things that have existed, but like, okay, I, I spent I spent double what you're charging for it on mine, and okay, whatever. So I'm trying to get them to take it off their site. Told them it was okay to post in the custom gallery and all that, but this isn't my file. You stole from me and that guy. So go to hell's. Yeah, basically. Basically, go fuck yourself. <laughs> and I emailed, I emailed them. I told them like, hey, you know, for lack of you know better words, hey, this is not cool. Like, this isn't mine. This isn't yours. This is not the deal. You need to take that file off. And they, they messaged me back. Like, some just they obviously know what they're doing because what I got back was, oh, do you mean the Ken suit we just put up? Thanks for your email. Hope to hear back from you. Like, no, I'm calling you out on bullshit. You don't want to hear back from me. <laughs> like you're trying to make it all good night no fuck you this if anybody why. goes to buy a suit and it looks like a little too good it's probably stolen don't buy it it's fucked up yeah hate everything oh, oh there's more metal banging yep yep there yep nope yep yep what have yep. you been up to uh, getting moved in, getting everything settled. That sounds boring. It is. It sucks. It sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and we're working seven days a week. It's balls. Your balls. I'm what? Shaving balls. 
So what have you been up to? I saw Guardians. Have you? I like, have. Like, Guardians, the Owls of Gahu. Did you see what happened? Where and when? A movie theater, the night of Guardians. Um, a movie theater went to play the movie, and they ended up playing Rise of the Guardians. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was it was that a prank or was it like an honest mistake? It was an honest mistake. Like they had to give everyone refunds. I <laughs> like think. how do they still even have a print of that movie? I don't know. And what, <laughs> what gets me is like I thought every theater was digital nowadays. I'm just like, how did you? I don't know. I didn't look into what theater it was. Like if it was an AMC or whatever. Yeah, it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> that is fun. So, I'd be pissed. So what'd you think about Guardians? I loved it. Like I. I know a little bit about the Guardians, but I I didn't like I'm gonna own up to it. I I didn't read a lot of the Guardians ever. Like I know about Nova. I know about Nova more than any of them. Uh huh. And uh, uh, like since 2008, I know I've known they existed. So when the movie was coming out, I wasn't like who. I was just like, oh well, that's pretty weird that they're getting a movie. And, like, for a while, I was kind of worried about it, but then up to when we got trailers and stuff, I was like, okay, this will work. Mm -hmm. And everything they did, there was a point to where, and it's a very distinct part, and I'm not going to say what it is. Um, I probably should, because this is going to sound really weird, but whatever. Um, if, for people who have seen it, there's a very distinct part that is, uh, it's very much foreshadowing, uh -huh. but in a much deeper, not deeper, a much broader sense, like, very vibrant like, hey, look at this, and I, I was sitting, I was sitting on the end, like on the row of my friends, there was like seven of us, it was me, my girlfriend, my other friend, and then my buddy, who we go see all the Marvel movies together, together, we were all sitting in that order, I reach over, like, we were reaching over, my girlfriend and my other friend, to grab each other's hands, shaking, and like, giggling, and just screaming, so excited about what's going on right now, on the screen. Really? Yes. It was amazing, and I want to tell you what it was, but I'm not going to say it on mic, because there are people who haven't seen it might want to have that surprised. Okay. But it's beautiful. Go see it. It's real good. How many uh, after credit scenes are there? Um, I want to say just one, but I think technically two, because like they don't really do an after credit scene like mid credit scene they have an after credit one for sure but like they have like this ending montage at the end and uh -huh. there's something at the very end that I thought was after credits but I could be remembering wrong okay but yeah there's there's one at the actual end of the credits anything really fucking uh crazy what out of the after credit scene yeah um it's essentially something that's just out of nowhere. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. More than anything, you might find it mind-blowing. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but yeah, I want to see it. Chris Pratt has been given a lot of interviews. I saw a cover of him on a magazine with an actual raccoon. I yeah. Thought was, I thought it was funny. I love raccoons. I want a pet raccoon so bad. You can domesticate them. Don't you know? But they're they're mean animals. No. Yeah. Um let's see. I I got copies of uh, Winter Soldier and, and Maze and Spider Man too. Didn't get a chance to see Captain America though yet. You got digital copies? Yep. Oh wait, is is the Spider-Man officially out, or did you do something? Ah. Ah. Yep, so, probably next, next time, I don't know, it'll be like months late, but I'll be able to give my thoughts finally on the Winter Soldier. I've it's real good. See it. It's real good. Um, where's this fucking poster? There it is. Okay. All right. So what'd you get? 
I didn't get any toys. I just got a bunch of cosplay stuff. Cosplay stuff is expensive. You know it what? Is. Something I have. Something I happened at Comic Con uh, that I that I didn't even know about until um, until uh, watching a Screen Junkies video is what? that Legendary also announced as Skull Island a movie. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yep. Now, what's well, it's. it's and they I actually showed footage of King Kong at this con, but one thing I'm really wondering is like if this is meant to be a prequel to 2005's King Kong, or is it like another yet another reboot? Did, any elaboration on that? No, I I, I don't know. <laughs> because uh, I love the 2005 Peter Jackson King Kong. And I'd be sad if, like, if that's just gonna be a dead franchise there. But yeah, they'd be like, this would be like the one, two, three, four, fourth different reboot of a King Kong franchise. Are you surprised? No. They're probably Actually, rebooting it. Yeah, probably. Um. But you know, it, a lot of, it got like a bunch of really confused reactions. Like, what the fuck's this? You're still talking about the Peter Jackson one, right? No. What are you talking about? Skull Island. Oh, yeah, yeah people don't know what it is. That's what Skull Island. Hello. Okay, what else? No, yeah, I'm not, but the only thing that's like really good that came out of that announcement, especially since it was announced by Legendary, that they're expecting like a King Kong versus uh, Godzilla film I buy it in that case like they would have to make King Kong absolutely fucking gigantic but while in the past King Kong has always been only about 25 to 30 feet in King in uh, Legendary's Godzilla is 350 feet tall so yeah I didn't get any toys either this has been kind of like a fucking dry spell. Oh yeah, but I'm kind of okay with it. Yeah, but like, I, I have, have you seen any of the Guardians of Marvel Legends yet? Since last week? Yes, no. What did Maybe. you say? You lagged out. What? Oh, have you seen any of the Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel Legends yet? Yeah, I I saw uh, Star Lord and Iron Man. Did you get him? And, no, no, I didn't. didn't. You said you didn't get anything. Okay. But well, I'm waiting because like if I see like I've seen the I've seen Gamora once. But I, I was saw like, Gamora once, but the build figure piece was missing. Oh, that's always good. <laughs> um. Yeah, like I, I'd love to own those figures, especially after looking. I just looked at the. Uh, Toy Arc's photo gallery of them. They look uh -huh. freaking sweet. I know. But the only one I really don't care about is Iron Man. I'll get it to finish Groot, but I really don't care about it. Yeah. Like, I don't care. They, I fucking, can't. they fucking got us with uh, our... I know you don't want these shitty two figures, but you kind of need them to build the actual Groot figure. Oh, I want Nova. Nova looks sweet. I I've always wanted really a Nova figure. I don't care too much about Nova. I, li I like the Nova figure. I've always wanted the old Marvel Legends that came from Walmart. But it always went for kind of a stupid price. And now there's another one that... Whatever, I guess. Like, okay, cool. So, yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'll get this one. If I ever see it. Because, like, there, there's a couple figures I've never seen. I've never seen Nova, and I've never seen Rocket. Like, I feel oh, like I should yeah. get them off BBTS, but... Like, it's a lot of money to drop at once. Hundred thirty four dollars. That's a lot. What are you gonna do? News? We can do news. Okay, what do you got? Alright. Remember a couple weeks ago we were talking about No nope. Prime Oh okay, well, what uh, what about the one time No nope. oh, shit. Alright. So apparently there was No there isn't. So, Toys R Us is going to be releasing... Yeah, okay. Not 
last one. Okay. So we got more. No. Uh, <laughs> we got uh, new images of Age of Extinction store exclusives, including uh, Big Bad Toy Stores getting to get the exclusive of the Autobots United set, which is the five uh, core Autobots. That's shared. I think that's also going to Toys R Us, but it hasn't been said. It might be, but no, it's it's not. This is this one's not a Toys R Us ex- uh, exclusive. The uh, Farmageddon set is a Toys R Us exclusive. I thought Farmageddon was going to Target. No, that's going to Toys R Us. I f- what? fucking forget where I read well, this at. <laughs> What's going was, to Target? That was at, that was at SDCC. Oh, and there's a little little signs that said that Farmageddon was going to be the uh, Toys R uh, yeah Toys R Us. The Autobots United was going to be is a BBTS exclusive. Uh, but it's shared exclusive, I thought. Huh? It's a shared exclusive, I thought. Uh, I don't think so. They didn't say anything like that. Oh well. Um, Amazon is getting a. Uh, Generation 1 Slog exclusive and a uh, and the what the fuck there's a first edition uh, Optimus with trailer uh, repaint which is which has like 5000% more chrome on it than it did before yep and it's weird and what we thought was going to be Stinger is actually going to be a G1 themed Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe. Well, that's Swerve. So, Swerve from that line. Remember, we got the same exact thing from. Uh, yeah, I do kind of remember that. Yeah, I got that figure. It's the same head mold and everything. I think it's is the it? same, just different paint apps. Yeah. I was wondering what the hell was up with that head sculpt, but now I do remember that fucking figure. Yep. Huh. Neat. Um. Yeah, I'm not. I, I don't think I'm going to get any of these. I I kind of like the. Uh, oh, you missed the uh, the Dinobot one. Oh yeah, the yeah. Um, uh, look at that. The the five pack of Strafe, Slug, Scorn, Slog, and Grimlock of their movie accurate decos, which is just some like gray black chrome and. Blackwash, kind of, and some silver, and some very, very faint color in certain areas. Mm-hmm. Kind of I, I saw, I checked in on one day at work at the IMAX showing of Transformers before we lost it, uh-huh. and uh, I saw the scene where all the Dinobots transform. I never noticed this before, but Slug has this giant freaking Autobot symbol stamped, like, embossed on his snout. Does he really? Yeah. Oh. It looks cool. I have to look for that next time I see it. I kind of want the Autobot 5 pack, but man, like that Optimus damn it. I'm probably not going to get it. Is that Optimus the selling one? Selling point one for you? No, for me it's Crosshairs, Drift, and Bumblebee. Um, and I would be okay with owning another hound. That figure's sweet. What I don't like about Optimus is they went with the G1 color scheme, which is all good, fine, dandy. And he has the faceplate head, which I like. But his feet and his hands are still blue. Y'all, oh, are they? Yeah. <laughs> That's silly. Yeah, it is. I don't. I don't understand. I don't. Just don't get it. You had one job has blow. Worst things have happened, but that's my only complaint. Speaking about uh, Optimus Prime repaints, <gasps> we uh, finally got prototype a prototype image of the Takara Ultimate Power Mode Optimus Prime, which is a remold slash repaint of the mat of uh, the leader class figure. Oh, I didn't look at that yet. Let me look at that. They're remolding a lot. Of it actually. Did they? Yeah. Oh, he has articulated wrists. Yeah. Oh you see shit! His, see his forearms are totally remolded. Um, his, his feet. Yeah, his feet. 
his head, his chest, his little skirt piece. No, you do see his more new, uh, more movie accurate sword, and it looks like it's yeah. gonna be made out of uh, clear plastic. I'm assuming it's gonna be painted later on. But yeah, um, it doesn't really show any of the to other toys gimmicks. Like supposedly this is gonna have a removable faceplate, but you re really don't get to see that. Uh, no uh, pictures of any additional weapons like his uh, gun shield or his other cannon that he uh, has in the movie with flames on it. I want to see that cannon he has when they fucking stormed the KSI headquarters. Yeah. Yeah, that cannon with the flames on it. That was pretty badass. Oh, okay. Someone mentioned in this thread that what this looks like his his new uh, forearms. Do you remember? Oh, shit. <laughs> Well, damn. <laughs> Talk about a dramatic thread read. Guys, pissed. Um, a little, kind of a little spoiler for the movie, a little bit. If you haven't seen it and care, like, block out your ears for about 20 seconds. Uh, okay, there's your warning. Do you remember the part in the movie where Optimus grabs the sword? And his eh. uh, gauntlets transform? Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, that's what's going on right there. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> and I already really like that leader Optimus mold. If this one makes it better, oh my god, yeah, that makes me stoked because I love that figure. Speaking of which, speaking about cans, I'm pretty sure that that picture you showed me, which you did kind of a jacked up way of showing me, is just the uh, picture of the the thing from Shapeways Toys just painted. Well, the original picture had more weapons. Well. Like but what? it's taken me days to find it again. I literally went through Google Images, TFW, I went through Radicons, I went through... I can't find it. Like, what other weapons? He had two different sized swords, he had a shield gun, that gun, and, uh, I think he had an axe, but I don't remember like about this, the axe. This was for the, for the evasion mode Optimus Prime? Yes. I want that. I'm sure we'll see it come up again, but I've looked. Like, I, th I went I went to like the pa the 20 pages of TFW I couldn't find it I looked through Radicons to see if it was a shapeways project I couldn't find it so I found you like the closest thing that looked like it was from it that I thought it was so me are you sure you didn't dream that no I I saw it because I remember there were two that are uh, comparing they had one for the leader class and one for the evasion class me and you talked about the leader class one yeah I remember yeah I remember I was comparing them like, I did Google searches for that. I looked at TFW, too. I looked through threads. If I dreamed it, I'll be really freaking impressed, but... <laughs> because that sounds like I a did. set I definitely really want. It could have been Shapeways kit, but I guess we'll see. Because I, I love... What we're talking about, that, that um... On Shapeways, there's a, a custom gun for the Invasion Mode Optimus Prime, which is the gun he used in the farm, and it's the same gun that Optimus had throughout the entire uh, throughout the dark of the moon and I really like that gun and I saw that on Shapeways Toys and then you fucking kind of cock teased me for three days that there's a third party kit that has that same kind of gun and a bunch of weapons and you won't show me cause you I can only show you what I can find cause I don't even think it exists at this point <laughs> um okay this is me caring uh. <laughs> All right. Um. What's next? You're next. Plat Platinum Edition Optimus Prime and Grimlock. Two pack sighted at retail. And it's a oh my god! It's a Kmart exclusive. That figure will not sell. Why Kmart? For sixty dollars. It's sixty bucks. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Maybe, just, maybe, hopefully, there's still some Kmart's uh, around that when they event when, when that when they go out of business in the next couple of weeks, they'll market this set down to like fifteen or twenty dollars. That'd be pretty rad. Yeah. 
But I don't think I have any Kmart's around me anymore. Me neither. So. And I ain't driving out of my way for it. Yeah. Nope. Like, I think all Kmart's within 50 miles have closed for me. Yeah, I think, like, my nearest Kmart would be closer to you. Probably. Mmm, we're talking about that, talking about that. Did Deluxe, we? Deluxe Lockdown has been cited in retail. Eh. I know. Like I, I've I keep catching myself getting excited. Like, oh, what if I found Lockdown? Eh, what if I found Lockdown? Yeah, he's... I've uh, I got the kind of uh, same feeling for me because I wasn't really excited about him, but then we just seen more and more of him and more and more of him, and then I'm just like, I think it's kind of lame. Like he looks like an okay toy, mm -hmm. but like I don't know how much I care about him being locked down. So if I get him, he might not be locked down anymore when I get him, just because we have a better lockdown, one that is tall, menacing, um, mm -hmm. not short and stubby, and have a goofy grin. Hey, he was... He can't talk about that since the accident. I swear, every time I just look at the figure, I just see a stupid grin on his face. They should have done the visor helmet. Yeah. I feel like the figure's really fat, too. It is. It's super fat. Like, hey, they did... I mean, the figure's okay. Mm -hmm. Not about... Not sure if it's locked down for me. Human lines locked down. Get on it, Hasbro. Come on, Hasbro. Jeez. Jeez, Hasbro. Space formers. Jeez. I have a friend who heard me over talking about how much I hate the term Bay formers. And we were watching, like, whenever we're bored, we'll sit around and load up those 10 minute fail compilation videos. And there was one where this helicopter fucking crashes. And nobody dies or anything. It just, like, goes to land and kind of, like, tilts over. And jokingly, I was like, Transformers! And he just goes, Bayformers, and I just fucking glared at him. Like, <laughs> you know my peeve. <laughs> I see what I was, you did there. I was really upset. But yeah, no, this... Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I keep looking at it. Like, I'm looking at it right now, and I'm just like, eh. I think it looks really funny with the gun over its face. <laughs> uh... I company called Iron Factory is making a unofficial Legends class Ultra Magnus. I didn't see the Legends Ultra Magnus. Can I see? It looks pretty awesome. Where is it at? It is going to be in your Skype box in about now-ish. Ah. It's, it's not necessarily Legends class, but it is uh, smaller than a Deluxe and bigger than a Cyberverse. Yeah. It still looks rad, holy shit. Yeah. And it's designed to fit inside the, uh, like, uh, kind of par compartment inside a mo uh, Metroplex. Mm. Its vehicle mode kind of looks more like um, Armada Overlord. Over not Overlord. Overload. Yeah, it does. Which is actually called Ultra Magnus in um, the Japanese Micron Legend version of Arma Armada. <laughs> Coincidence? I think not. It looks pretty cool. Um, it's all one big in joke. Mm -hmm. In that show, it's funny because if that uh, Overload did not talk at all, he is like basically just like a a drone. So I tried to think of Ultra Magnus of it was like just a mindless drone that's his sole purpose is to be a weapon. That's kind of funny. I love that they use like they have him stand in the picture where they have him standing next to all the other figures in comparison. That one's fine. But then they could put him to this, you know, random askew can size for reference. Yeah. <laughs> this weird Chinese Red Bull squat can like oh yeah everyone has those kind of red bulls like we like like i know 12 ounce can i don't know how you know for frequent that is everywhere else or if it's an american thing mm -hmm. but i have no idea what how big that can is yeah me neither all i know i've is never seen a can that small all i know is it's a little bit smaller than this figure which i also don't know quite how big it is in compared with the figure yeah uh, it's a little bit shorter than uh, Fall of Cybertron Optimus. Which is already a pretty fucking small figure. Well, then look at him compared to Legends Optimus. 
He's like twice his height. Oh well, no. Yeah. Not that much. Yeah. Almost. Almost. I'm still trying to find that fucking kid you dreamed about. If you ever find that again, I will. Send me a link to it ASAP because that sounds like something I'd definitely want. You know, even if the one I saw doesn't exist, you know someone's gonna do it, like, right? Like, well, is it like swords that are like, um, was it the knight sword or is it like the swords from Dark of the Moon that he that he could hold? Or do you not remember? No, I know you're thinking of the one that had like the hooks that peg into his hands and the swords and all that. Yeah. Send that to me. Wait, what? I'm not looking at anything. I'm just, I'm just. What are you good for? I don't think it is. But I should look at it. What is that? What's that under? What? Never mind. I'm not looking at anything. I know, but you were just talking about it. Do you know what where it's at? The swords? Yeah, the swords you were just talking about. That, like, um... Let me, let me find... I know that, uh... UFO did a knockoff version of them. Let me find those real quick. Knockoff version? What do you mean? Like, there was like an official Takara set of those released in Toys R Us in J Japan. Mm hmm. And then uh, Dr. Wu basically just did the exact same thing. Or not Dr. Wu, but uh, UFO toys. Mm hmm. Let me find Blade Set. Did he come with these swords? No, I don't think so. Were they more handheld ones that you could hold like a traditional sword? Yeah. Okay, but they were were they shaped like these? No. No. <laughs> I really wish I could see these. Alright. Uh, Generation Skybite has been found. Oh, no! Are you interested? Yes. Yes, I am. Um, um, but he's only sighted that one time, right? Yeah. My uh, my toys dress is going under some sort of like warehouse change, so everything's gonna be late there. Everyone's thinking, and uh, yeah, every every other store around me sucks. That's oh well, I'll see him someday. Yeah, uh, I might might not see him for a while because for whatever reason, like Voyager class uh, generations figures don't really get released until like after. A month, a couple months of being popular elsewhere in my area, but mm -hmm. eventually I'll get it, just not right away. Like right now, I can find rhinoxes and worlds like no problem. Yeah, me too. But uh, for the longest time, I couldn't even find, I couldn't find rhinox for the life of me. I cannot find a double dealer. I don't really oh, want one. Yeah. You know, but I can't that, see him. I don't that, see him anywhere. That's that blue Blitzwing repaint, right? Yeah, I could. If I could, yeah, I could find him no problem for a long time. I have no desire to ever get him. But yeah, Skybite. I'm not sure how to feel about Roadbuster though. I like Roadbuster. I'm excited for both. I'll probably get both, but yeah, I'm. I'm definitely more for uh, Skybite here. Skybite. Skybite. Hey, guess what? Hey, what? We got more prototype images of Masterpiece Star Saber. Mm, cool. Link me. I want to look at those while we talk about it. Mm, cool. I like how you went through not enthused at all to like I gotta see it. Yeah. <laughs> those are, those are my stages of grief. <laughs> um, I looked at these before, but I won't get them again. Oh boy. Ugh. <laughs> I love it. There's still I don't as far as I can tell there's still no like official confirmation of the brain uh, master gimmick actually works with this like the existing one like uh, the yeah when the in the G1 star saber figure like a little mini figure with like 
go, not transform at all, like, it would go, like, head to toe inside another figure's chest, and then a compartment would close, and that figure would make a face pop up into the main robot. And Star Saber is kind of like Fort Max in this point, where he was a double uh, brain master, where he had a tiny, like, a tiny little robot go into the chest, or go into the chest of the core robot, which is what we was called Saber, which you see in the bottom right corner of the first picture here. And he would transform into the face for that, and then this, that thing would go into, uh, the, what trans, wait, what, no? Okay, no, no, no. I'm, I'm fucking, I don't know what I'm talking about. This would transform into the chest and then the helmet go over it, so I think that, that part's gonna be happening. But yeah, this, um, no word of the, if the, if the main little robot is gonna have a brain master gimmick or not. I would like for it to, but I don't know how they can make that work and keep it like in a, you know, masterpiece quality. Mm. I'm trying to see if I can find that on him. Yeah, like they don't have pictured like a little tiny robot or anything. They just have Star yeah. Saber and uh, the little, the smaller Saber. Which is funny because like in the show a lot. Uh, Saber, uh, when he was in Star Saber mode, unless he was in battle, he wasn't wearing his Star Saber helmet. You could see all, you could just see like the big, the the, the regular Saber head, and they do mm -hmm. that. They they feature that in the toy, but his head looks fu fucking hilarious because it's so tiny compared to the rest of the body. Yeah. Uh, the jet modes look pretty cool. I, I this is one I'm really excited for. My I'm really curious about this one more than anything. I I've always wanted a G1 Star Saber, and this one is going to be a fine replacement because this is going to be great. Um, as as my excitement for Masterpiece Ultra Magnet, Ultra Magnus has subsequently uh, diminished to the point where I don't even think I'm going to get it anymore. Oh what? Yeah, I like, uh, I just. I don't know. I, if if like if it comes to the states, I might get it, but right now I have little desire for it. I see. I guess it's just been kind of over uh, uh, overtaken by the Star Saber. Yeah. Cause, I mean, I have a G1 Ultra Magnus, and I think that, that one is good too. But I don't have. I never had a G1 Star Saber, and this just just fills in that uh, missing spot in my heart, you know? Yeah. More than a Masterpiece Ultra Magnus would. But yeah, it looks really fun. I can't wait to see more of this. Well, I would like to see, let's see if it has a Brain Master gimmick. I, I like how anime Star Saber's antennas look. They're really long and they go out to the side. Well, yeah, and they, I'm glad they captured a lot of his really good, how do I say, his angular shape really well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And didn't make it look all chibified. Right. I love it. Oh, Sony Shikwa. How do I say, how you say, uh, a star saber? Wow. <laughs> Screw you. I think that's it as far as news, as far as Transformer news. Let's go to MarvelToyNews.com. MarvelToyNews.com. And there's a bunch of uh, Star uh, Hot Toys Gardens of the Galaxy figures popping up. Like, they just yeah. announced the Star-Lord. Yep, and they had Groot and Rocket up, too. Those look super nice. I'll never own them, but they look super nice. Yeah. I want that green rocket more than anything. That rocket is 180 bucks, though. It's pretty expensive for how small you actually be. I guess that's the minimum they charge. Yeah. Uh, it's. I think it's kind of weird that on the Star Lord figures they have the Chris Pratt face blurred out. Really? Yeah. But you can still see it enough, but it's just barely blurred out. I have no idea why they did it like that. 
was on BB2. I haven't looked at his helmet face, let me see. None of these pictures on BBTS have his Chris Pratt face. I know, face. and that's weird, but like if you go here and look down, they have the Chris Pratt face blurred out. Let's find it. I think that's a promotional thing. They did the same thing. If you go to BBTS and look at the Amazing Spider-Man 1 Spider-Man, the Andrew Garfield head is blurred out. Why? I don't know. I always thought it was a prototype thing, but... Or, like, do they not want us to know who plays Star-Lord? Maybe it's a deal to where they didn't pay to use his likeness, and it's so identical that it's a thing where they're not going to promote that they're doing it, but if you buy the figure, you get it. Oh. That seems Ma That sounds really far-fetched, though, that but I don't know. That would be kind of sketchy. Yeah, and part of me is like, if I'm spending $300 on a figure, I kind of want to see the face. Yeah, really. Alright. I think that's it as far as news. Oh, man, really? Yeah. We've only been recording for like half an hour. Only. It feels like two hours. I know. Man, shit. 40, 40, hey, excuse you. 41 minutes and 24 seconds. How about some questions? Ah, you're so needy. It's not working. We we have to see other people. I'm seeing already seeing two other people. Oh, did you see the Deadpool footage? Nope. Why not? Because that. Well, first off, I didn't know there was Deadpool footage. Mm-hmm. And second of all, I don't want to see footage or trailers for any movies I want to see ever again. This. That's a pretty big reserve. That that I think you're gonna have for about three weeks. No, I've had is for a while now. Ever since Godzilla totally fucking lied yeah, to you. Yeah, really. I'm still gonna watch trailers. I don't care. No, it's test footage. Uh, if they were to make a, uh, what you call it? A movie. Deadpool movie. Deadpool movie. Yeah, it's like CGI test footage. Voice by Ryan Reynolds. No. Yep. No. No what? Just no. Mm -hmm. You need to calm down, Mister. No, you don't. I think you do. He sounds like Adam Sandler. Oh, I do not like Adam Sandler. <laughs> toot, 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 Jr. Junior. Okay, we have questions. <laughs> um, oh my God, I honestly think we lost a lot of listeners. You think so? We only have one email again. Who is it from? It's it's from Ian again, which is all good and fine. <laughs> but oh, I thought you said it's from me. No, I mailed, my, I mailed us e a me email so we would have maybe more than one, and now I'm the only one. Yeah, no, I don't know what's going on. I guess whatever. I guess we're losing steam. Shall I go into it? Yep. Okay, from Ian, hey lads, IJK Productions again. Number one, are there any Transformers that you feel need to have one distinguishing feature? From now on, because of a previous non-G1 incarnation, like now Iron Man has two arm cannons now. Um, Ultra Magnus uh, must always have a hammer. This is true. Um, by the way, that would be great if that masterpiece Ultra Magnus came with a hammer. Yeah. Uh, Bumblebee now always has door wings. And can't talk. Yeah, that's true. Um. Now Ratchet's always old and crouchy. Optimus always has a mouth now. Um. Transformers always have sparks now. Ever since Beast Wars, which is not G1. 
Megatron always dies and comes back. Um, distinguishing features. Megatron always has shark-like teeth. This is true. There's a uh, bunch. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were just pulling these square square out of our asses. Yeah. Um. Sound always sound wave always has uh, tentacles now. Out of the two. Or well, as I was say, that's only two times. Yeah, really. Um. Hmm. I don't think there's too many others. Not that I could think of. Oh, wait. We totally missed this question. Are there any Transformers that you feel need to have one distinguishing feature? From now on. Uh, Lockdown should always have a hook hand. For sure. I was thinking that, but like out of the one other incarnation, he already does. Yep, well, so they're two for two, alright. Yeah. Um, Wait, there's IDW Lockdown, which I'm pretty sure had his hook hand. There's IDW Lockdown? Yeah, three for three, alright. Um, let me think. I, what do you look someone like that should always, Someone that should always retain a feature that is not G1, or at least to change it in a classic sense. Um, I think Megatron would be, would be better if we stopped trying to turn him into a gun. Um, because we're never going to get that official toy from Hasbro ever again, and, you know, he turns into a gun. Yeah. So I'm okay with them changing it up. Uh. <laughs> I can hear my brain working. I can hear it too. It's like yeah, it's barely coming up with nothing. Or is that Going your... into maximum overdrive. <laughs> um. Hmm. Hmm. I, I I don't think I can think of anything else. I don't know, it's kind of hard to think of any... Not off the top of my head, because most of them are, have already been done. Yeah. At least as far as I can tell. Um... Yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing except for those, th those that I mentioned. Uh... Number two, do you guys think we'll see any more Generations Headmasters, or Brainstorm was the one shot? I don't think it's impossible, but I doubt that they're working on like an entire line because their next year's theme is Combiners, I'll, so they're probably more worried about that. I would really like to see a Chrome Dome. Nope. <laughs> Why? Why no? No for you. Yeah, okay, fine. No Chrome Dome for you. All right. Um, what else does he say? Where did my questions go? Oh. Uh, number three. Do you guys tend to leave combiners in their individual individual robot modes or combined modes? Uh, combined. I tend to leave them uncombined. I tend to leave them combined because I only have three, at least three that I have out now, and that's um, Bruticus from. Follow Cybertron and the Fans Project, Colossus and Intimidator, on my classic shelf. Those are com all combined because where they're displayed, I couldn't fit all of them if they were all singles. And having like Megatron and Soundwave and Blitzwing and Shockwave stand there with two giant dudes standing behind them look kind of awesome. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, normally combined modes. I I I've had them combined in individual modes. I'd like to have them in in individual modes. Again, just because I think that looks cooler, like an army, but yeah. where they're displayed, I can't really do anything about it. I'm not complaining. Um, 
What was the worst example of when you got a misassembled figure? Nothing too, nothing too weird like that has ever happened to me. Um, I got a Marvel Legends Captain America once, and he had two right hands. So I just took it back, and I was like, this guy has two right hands. And the guy didn't believe me, and I was like, look, look at how the hands turn. He's like, oh, I guess. <laughs> um... When, I, when Mattel made those Naruto figures, um, there were a bunch of defective Kakashis that came in, and their joint wasn't secured, so if you took it out of the box, it snapped right in half. Mm -hmm. So that happened, and I couldn't get the joint back together, so I just had to glue his waist. Um... I'm trying to think of actual misassembled, like, stuff in the wrong area. Because these are more factory faux pas. I got nothing. Hmm. I'm looking at like all my figures' legs and their arms because I know there's something. Like my my um my Dreadwing and my Skyquake had two left feet. And like one had two right feet, so I just swapped them out mm -hmm. because that was a big thing with those figures, the swapped feet. Um, that's all I got for anything like that. I mean, misassembled. I've never really got anything misassembled like that. Never. I don't think so. Nothing like that. Just the ones I mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. Ye. Yeah. Ye. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number five. If you get, have you or a friend ever gotten an extremely bad deal on anything pre-owned? One of my coworkers bought a '68 Camaro SS for about twenty-eight thousand dollars. The car looked great, but the engine was shot, and the only thing that worked uh, was the hour part of the clock. Well, I'd be pissed. An extremely bad deal on anything pre-owned. Um, one time I bought my ex an iPod Touch from a guy on Craigslist. And a month later got stolen. So. I was pretty cheesed. Um, I feel like I do have something here, but... I'm trying to think. Come on, tell it. Come on. No, oh, no. My mind's too distracted to think about it. Like, I've gotten that music label Soundwave where I told the guys, like, hey, I'm sending money order because at this point I didn't have a bank account properly set up or PayPal. And he's like, okay, that's fine. I told him it'll be about a week. He said, okay, about the fourth day of the bank of the money order being sent, Right. It was this was a Sunday, and the guy messaged me back. He's like, "Hey, if I don't get your money order tomorrow, I'm selling to somebody else." I was like, "Okay, so you're gonna take my money order when it gets there and not send the thing? That's cool." <laughs> and then he sent it to me. He sent the sound wave to me after getting the money order on that Monday, the next day, twat. And uh, he he sent it to me with no like packaging inserts or bubble wrap. <laughs> the figure was fine, but I was kind of pissed. I spent fifty dollars on this, and whatever, be a dick. I don't care. Um, you are an asshole. La 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 la. I don't have anything like that. I'm very uh, unhelpful. I got. I know you are. I got a really cool. Uh, like when I bought my classics or my universe ratchet, the guy didn't tell me that he did the mods to it, and I got it, and I looked at, I went to like plug the gun into the undercarriage of the car, and it had no, I, I know I told the story before, and um, it had no plug there, it was like shaven off, like ripped out, and I was like, what the fuck? And I was looking at the figure, and I was like, this guy, this figure's broken! And I transformed him into robot mode again, and it turns out, I compared him to Ironhide, this ratchet had like a ball joint, completely articulated hands, 
transformed much better. What? <laughs> What's he saying? <laughs> He's being weird. Sounds like he's saying chili cheese. <laughs> I know, that's why I have no idea. I have no idea what the fuck he's saying. <laughs> but. It turns out the guy actually modded it and forgot to tell me. And the figure is much better. Yeah. Number six, what are some video game enemies slash scenes that are still frightening to you to this day? I still play the Pyramid Head and Silent 2 is what caused me to stop playing that series. I don't, I will, I don't have anything like that. That's still frightening to me? It's still maybe creepy. You can lighten it up a bit. Um. I'm making you answer this because you've answered not a single question yet, and I have no answer for this. Creepy or... It's, uh... mm. Even something that just makes you feel weird doing. Um... I'll, I'll alter his question so you can contribute something. <laughs> Is this his last question? Yes. Okay, so I have to. Yes. Um... When, whenever I would play the the final boss battle in Sons of Liberty, I always feel sick to my stomach because the first time I beat that, I was violently ill, but I wanted to play anyway, even though I could barely even sit up. <laughs> so I have like a kind of like a learned. I, th I forget what it's it like. Um, what's that kind of what's that thing in psychology where like where it's taught by fair by someone like if you ring a bell, but if you give a dog food. Like, after so many times, if the dog just hears that bell ring, he'll salivate. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it's a trained response. So, like, whenever I play a game, I get violently ill. Or I feel like I, I feel sick because of the one time I was really fucking sick playing that game. Oh, I have stuff like that, yeah. too. Like, where I'm just reminded of the first time, like, I did something like that. Mm -hmm. That sounded really dirty. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. But I have stuff like that. I can't think of anything. But ye. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm going on the boards and asking for if people know there's a weapons kit for Evasion Optimus. Because I gotta see this. If it exists. I thought you weren't. Never mind. Uh, keep up the good work, lads. Thank you, Ian. And anybody else who ever wants to send in another question, ever, anything, say hi for the love. Mm. Send to primecastqnda at gmail.com, primecastquanda at gmail.com. Please send us stuff. We're lonely. Yes, please do so. We need more questions. We are bit, we're, we're barely filling out, filling out an hour-long show now. Yeah, I mean, it's, the movie's out. The summer's over. All the toys been shown for next year. Um, it's it's a it's a it's a lull right now. So we're trying our best, guys. Jeez, he keeps waking me up early on days I don't work to record with him, and I'm tired. He beats me. Shh. We don't talk about that. Uh, <laughs> what was that sound I was doing last week? <laughs> <laughs> that one? No, that was stupid. What was I doing? This is like a. Uh, 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 yeah, that's it. Okay. You're so dumb. Uh, <laughs> Alright, yeah, like you said, ah. feel free to email us at primecastqna at gmail.com to send in more ah, questions. I already said that! Questions aside. <laughs> uh, prime, uh, prime, uh, prime, uh, prime, uh, uh stop uh, it! Password for this episode is, uh, Screech and Holler. Ah. Screech and Holler in the comment section and let us know you watch all episode, blah, 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 and do stuff like ah. that. Yeah. Twitter, SSJ yeah. Autobot, Instagram, me, SSJ Autobot, YouTube, click subscribe.
Is it my turn? It is your turn. Ah. Uh, you can follow uh. me on Twitter, Anakin Vader. I don't tweet very often, but... Uh, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, at Anakin Vader. Jesse, stop it! That's it. <laughs> That's just gross. That's nasty. That's nasty. Alright, until next week, my name is Jesse. Until my name is Wyatt. Where the fuck is my... Okay. Thank you for listening. One more. Yeah. One more. Yep, just... <laughs>